What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do to my champs all around the world. Damn, it's been a minute since we built, man. But how they say it? Life be life, and man. Yeah, life be life, and man. Between work, my children, my beautiful sons. I love them little dudes. My little, my little chatting with champ platform. I want to call it little, but my chatting with champ platform. Just life overall, man. Life be life. And but needless to say, we here still bobbing and weaving, man. One round at a time. You know what I'm trying to say? Hitting to try not to get hit. Playing to win. Even though it's never a loss, it's always a lesson. You know what I'm saying? But I got a little time today. I got a little time today. I got a little time today. And that little time I do have, I can't help but just want to build real fast. Once again, there's no offense to my ladies. No shade. Y'all know I love y'all. Y'all know I love the ladies. But what I'm saying is, this is combos with my brothers. This is one of them joints where y'all probably can't call you right now. We can't meet up right now. But I'll leave a video for you. And we build like that. Just know I'm, we build it, my boy. You know what I'm saying? And this is one of the things I never really did. I never really did, per se. But I know the emotion of wanting to do it. And I know it looked different to different people. But it still don't look good. And when you reflect on your version of it as a man, depending on how you interpret it and justify your actions, you're going to feel like you robbed yourself or you're going to feel it, it, it's just not a good feeling. You feel me? And ultimately, it's, it's, it's not a circumstance you want to live with knowing you did this action and have to live with the consequences, let alone. It didn't bring you the results that you wanted, right? You just reacted and, and, and caused the circumstance, man. That's crashing out, yo. That's crashing out. In regards to relationships, bro. And, and what I mean by that, I know it's hard, fellas, man. It be hard, man. Women don't understand the, the mindset of a man, how competitive we are, how territorial we are, how... Um, protective we are, how intentional we are, how attentive we are. Like, there's a realm and paradigm in the man's thinking that I don't think a woman will overstand in so many ways. They they will get their magic from what they get, but I don't think they'll really understand like the day to day thoughts and um daily order of operations of a male. You know what I mean? Let alone a man that's doing stuff like you know what i'm saying and a lot of times man when dudes feel non-victorious cheated played undervalued we we're not pro we don't really know how to sit and process that all the time depending on where you at in your manhood initially when you're still learning sometimes your first thought is is the same way you felt like if you lost lost in the playoffs or lost the championship game I lost the championship fight. Like, it's that I can't believe I lost. Like, I can't sleep with this loss. And sometimes if we don't know how to separate the feeling of, damn, I lost, and I just don't like the feeling of loss compared to I lost somebody or I think I lost somebody, it could get real mixy. It could get real, it could get borderline dangerous because at least in the ring or in a, 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 an arena where it's competition, once the match is over, you may not see this person again. Depending on who it is, you may not see this person again. It's over. If you feel like you lost somebody in a relationship, fellas, the the, 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 the harassing, you feel me, the exposing, the, the if it get physical, the, the threatening of other niggas, the beating up of other niggas, like, I get it. Don't get it twisted. I get it. But I'm on some stuff now, like, that's not going to stop her, yo. That's not going to stop her, yo. Only thing it's showing her is the power she has over you in so many ways or the lack of power you have over yourself. And I'm one of the ones I didn't had not crash outs per se, but I didn't said things you know what I'm saying? Or reacting in certain ways where the next day and, and retrospect, you'll be like, yo, it was really me. Not me like the problem, but we we don't understand the power of projection, bro. How we put, and I'm not talking about like negative projection, but 
we we paint with a such a large brush on we project our emotions and what we think people feel about us on us i may look at you and, and the way i'm looking at you i may assume oh she like me like or i'm saying like, like, like that type of stuff or oh this my boy or that may not be the case like you got circumstances where if you're not careful you may assume the role of somebody they didn't earn you get what i'm saying so when we assume these roles with women in relationships and they don't go according to our game plan and we lose a lot of dudes is willing to crash out. I'm like, bro, don't, don't, don't put yourself at risk for prison, death. Um, just, 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 just unfortunate toxicity. We don't need that. We got enough challenges as it is, man. And one thing we can't control is our mind state. There's a lot of other components in life that's out of our hands but one thing we can't control for the most part with intention if you try is how you react, justify, interpret, and react to stuff, man. Like, we got to work on those, especially when it comes to that realm of women, bro, because the way it's looking and going, I'm not going to say it's going to get better. I'm not going to say it's going to get worse, but just be prepared to be in a position where you feel love in self and you don't have to lash or codepend- codependent codepend on someone else or something outside of you because just like I just stated earlier man men when it comes to losses especially if you got like a competitive nature that you may you may not never get over that and it may not be nothing to do with oh I lost her that was my girl that was my lady it's the fact that you know another dude conquered her you know what I'm saying it's almost like a nigga stunning your bike like you can't go to sleep knowing somebody got your bike and it may never be the bike was that crisp. The bike probably wasn't even all that tough. But it's the fact, yo, another dude just stole my bike, bro. I'm riding around with this shit. And I'm without a bike. And it, like, like that feeling, like, because personally, in my opinion, if you was in love and a woman loved you, like how y'all posted, you would never think about crashing out. Even if y'all broke up, crashing out would be the, because the line and level of respect would be so up there. Or even your self-respect knowing it was an experience. It was an experience. It ain't nothing for me to get mad over. You was with somebody or dealt with a dude before we crossed paths. You know what I mean? So it's like you got to come with a balanced approach. Even when it comes to like your kids, mom, bro, she's still a woman. She's still going to want to be seen, be conquered, be approached, be dominated, even if it's not by you. And if you don't got the mind state of, well, I could conquer, dominate and, 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 and create my own too. Man, you're going to lose sleep, man. You're going to lose weight. You're going to lose your marbles, man. And, and that's the part of men that I that I just can't stand to see. And it pains me because I know a piece of that pain, man. Especially when it comes to you just want to be validated. You just want to be valued. You just want to be loved. You want to be seen. And you do all you can just for another person to get it like that from you. Take it away from you like that. So in those moments, shit, you would break the building down i get it but brother step back breathe be in the moment and be yourself bro. it's a big world out there you just got to open up your mind make moves create new experiences to get rid of old ones start walking to the water give your brain new food paint write draw do things that's going to eliminate all it's almost like you're forcing all of this toxic shit you don't need and you're putting in new programming for you to behave better, feel better. The last thing I want any of my dudes that I know is to die, God forbid, or be in jail because he caught his girl cheating or he caught his girl on the phone with another dude or she, because, bruh, the way it's going, bruh, it's almost inevitable. So my thing is, if you're going to play Russian roulette and get in a relationship, don't crash out, bruh. Just take it to the chin if it comes to that. In my opinion, I'll say stay single until she proposes or some shit like that. It's like, nah, but aside from all that, aside from relationships, like, be at peace with yourself, man. You know what I mean? That's all I really want to say. That's the message. Love yourself. Love yourself enough not to put your life at risk for one individual. You know what I mean? Like, protect yourself sexually, all that. Don't put yourself at risk, man. There's nothing scarier than a motherfucking STD scare. Or pregnancy scared. All of that could be avoided, man. We can avoid a lot of those mishaps, close calls, even 
But the women down that we choose to be dealing with to make us think we could crash out, bro, that's a spiritual transmitted disease. You got me ready to lose my life and go to jail will be like, like, and if they don't have enough respect for you to at least mend a bridge, regardless of how the bridge got burned or broke, but don't have no problem in it finding pleasure you crashing out, bro, that's 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 a that's a spiritual transmitted disease, man. We can't we can't continue to propagate and live like we're okay with not being okay. No. Nah. We cannot keep living like it's okay to be hurt, but I got to act like I'm not hurt because it's okay because I'm supposed to. Nah. Find ways to express that, bro. That shit going to chew you up. Take it from me. I lost some years of my life doing that. And a lot of the things I did to combat that, <clears throat> I know I'm not no rapper, but I wrote music. I know I'm not an artist, but I drew. I know I'm not a, I know I'm not a um, sculpturist, whatever you call those, but... I used to get clay, make sculptures. I know I'm not a, you know what I'm saying? But I was doing stuff. I was doing stuff where I was expressing a different energy with that same fire. I took that fire and, and probably went and made breakfast. I probably went and started a campfire. I probably went and started, like, I took the fire and started doing different things that fire can do other than just burn the whole fucking house down. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's the point of the whole crashing out. Take the fire and use it for other things that fire is useful for. Fire is a beautiful element, and it's dangerous too. Water is a beautiful element. I love water, but, bruh, water uncontrolled will kill you. Water is dangerous. Water don't have feelings. Fire don't have feelings. That pain we feel, don't get it twisted. It's a feeling, but it don't have no emotion when, when it's crash out time. And I'm saying, don't burn the building down, bro. Find some way to take that fire and cook some food, metaphorically speaking. Find that fire to, to create a, you know what I'm saying? Take that water and swim in it. Create a jacuzzi. Don't don't let it drown you. Like, you know what I'm saying? To the point where we hating the elements that we need to survive, bro, metaphorically speaking. And that's love, caring, um, relationships, um, peace. You know what I'm saying? Individualism. All that, man. We can't allow one bad apple to spoil the whole orchard, man. And I've been running my mouth long enough. That's about that time. I'm about to go do what I got to do. Once again, fellas, don't crash out, man. Don't crash out. Crash out for what? Don't crash out. Take it to the chin like a champ. Get back in there. Go back in the gym, metaphorically and physically. And get back to work. There's somebody out there dying for you. Can't wait to meet you. Can't wait to hold you. Can't wait to smile in your face. Can't wait to do everything that that person took for granted. And the last thing this new person going to do is sit back and enjoy you crashing out. That's not going to happen. Stay out there, bro. Stay positive. Stay motivated. Stay real.